Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And yesterday I had the Jack Daniels Old Number no. 7, which was limited in taste, but got the honor of being the most often sold American whiskey worldwide. And today we have a, yeah, a less popular Tennessee whiskey from the Jack Daniels distillery and it's called Gentleman Jack. It has a very uh, special bottle. You're gonna look at the amber color and as all American whiskeys or Burms and Tennessee whiskeys, it's not colored by law. 40% ABV. Gentleman Jack, rare Tennessee whiskey. It was rare several a uh, decade ago, but uh, it became more and more popular and sales, sales figures rise sharply. Uh, introduced by the Jack Daniel distillery in 1988, Gentleman Jack is carefully crafted using only the finest grains, iron-free water from our own cave spring and a time-honored process that dates back more than 140 years. This rare Tennessee whiskey furthers the Jack Daniel tradition by making special use of the unique charcoal mellowing process. Unique? Any other whiskey in the world, Gentleman Jack is charcoal mellowed twice. Once before it goes in the barrel and again after it has fully matured, the result is an exceptionally smooth whiskey with a rich, rewarding taste. This is the real difference. As I said in the uh, video of the old number no. 7, um, Jack Daniel uh, filters his whiskey through a charcoal made from a sugar maple and uh, this uh, filtering through three meters thick uh, charcoal uh, vats uh, reduces the sharp aromas. The charcoal has a, a high inner surface where these sharp aromas can adapt and uh, are torn off out of the, the liquid. And the Gentleman Jack uh, is then, after the maturation, again charcoal mellowed, uh, filtered, um, so that there are any other belongings, uh, sharp uh, residues in the whiskey, uh, is filtered out a second time or with a second time. Um, is this that unique? No. I know of the uh, Labro and Graham distillery, which produces the uh, Woodford Reserve and this distillery is owned by Jack Daniels uh, and they use a huge uh, mixing vessel in which they have uh, charcoal dust for removing uh, the residues uh, after the maturation just before filling into the bottle. So this is not that unique but uh, when they repeat it with the Woodford Reserve uh, then it should work. Um, distilled and bottled by Jack Daniels Distillery. Le Motlo. This was Propriator Lynchburg. Population 361. Tennessee, USA. Brown Foreman Beverages. This is the new Propriator. So I have a miniature of this. Government warning. Enjoy responsibly. Don't rush. Don't drink too much. <sighs> A very strong solvent, paint thinner aroma in it. But smoother, weaker, more mellow than the old number seven. Not that sweet, no. 
but sweet. <laughs> Caramel appearing. smooth and oily. There's an association of a grilled corn cob with butter, melting butter on it. And sweetness. Abrupt, strong sweetness. And nearly no oak. A slight spiciness in the back and the aftertaste is sweet. It's quite mm, one-dimensional and easy. There's this aromatic note again. From my personal point of view, twice or three times as good as the old number seven. We have to pay two times the amount are one and a half times as much as for the old number seven. Yeah. Thank you for watching whiskey.com. Stay tuned. There's more to come. This Jack Daniels single barrel tomorrow and uh, If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends.